is the key word. Settle is the key word. Settle means, uh, this is not really what I want, but, you know, I know I, the, the girl that really makes me hard, she's out there somewhere. But I'll, I'll settle for this one because I know you're black. I know you're, you're crazy about me because I'm a brad. And I know that you love me. So, you know, I know that this girl really loves me. And because I know that she really loves me, I'm going to marry her. Is she the one I want? No. No. Settle down. Get it? Men tell you in so many words. And, and it goes right over your fuck. Settle down. Keep emphasis on settle. I'll wait. YOLO T says, if all of his exes are white, then leave that white man alone. Yep. Yep. Because he could be settling with you. He could be settling for you because Becky ain't checking for him no more. Becky is not checking for him. Hey, my black field brothers. <laughs> this was sent to me by my field marshal. <laughs> A tornado. Oh boy. This is our famous divester and swirler, Crystal Swirls, that talks a lot of smack <laughs> about <laughs> black men, okay? And how white men really love them and take care of them and uh, desire them, right? Basically, all black women have to do is basically <laughs> give up their loyalty to black men and open their options and all these white men will flood in to take them and after 15 years crystal swirls is telling the truth you know you can hear it in this video she's trying to shame white men into wanting black women in other words she's trying to tell white men to do what they won't do with black men which is settle settle is a cuss word for black women when it comes to black men but all of a sudden, when it comes to to uh, average Brad with the white, white skin, she's trying to shame him into settling for her. What does she say? I know you're not my preference. I know you don't turn my crank. But I know you love me because I'm Brad, because I'm white and you need to settle for me because I because I think I'm better for you because I, I value you more than you value me. I'm willing to do 50-50 plus. Like 50-50 is, is a cuss word for black women in, in, the, in the black community when it comes to black men. At least they tell us that. But it let uh, average Brad come along. And all of a sudden they're bending over backwards, begging him to take her. Now they try to shame black men into taking a lower position or begging for their acceptance and saying that, the only reason that we're with you is because we're loyal to you. And there's tons of other men out there that want us, even though they, they never show any proof, even though the stats say differently. All the stats, the dating stats, the dating site stats, the marriage stats, all this stuff say the exact opposite. And really, it, if you check my video on uh, my Be Just Ibmore page, where I talked about the uh, White men are finding white women insufferable and they're bowing out of the dating market. So if they find their own women insufferable and we know that you're insufferable because of your attitudes, well, why are they taking you? Why are they picking you really? These white men would rather have a bottle of lotion than to pick you. Now you're throwing sex at them, but they won't take you. And I don't care about that. And if, if they'll take you, that's fine. But things stop lying to us. 
Because at the end of the day, you know, what is it? What do they say? Scoreboard? What's on the scoreboard is what counts. And if what's on the scoreboard doesn't match up with what you're talking, then the rest of that stuff doesn't matter. But it's so funny to finally hear it, man, because we're in a crisis right now. Then that's the only thing I like about economic crisis is basically it reveals the truth because people don't have enough money to cover up their lies anymore. This is actually revealing the truth about black women. Not only their mating choices, but their mating opportunities because they're constantly claiming that black men are not desirable. They can go get other men. And guess what? It's not true. That's why they're ragging on you about being a passport, bro. In fact, I got another article coming up talking about the uh, passport girls and them lying about them going overseas. This is from Madame Noir. Black women have always been in competition with the black men. Always. Always been in competition with black men. And this shows. But if you look at the stats, if you look at the stats when it's a even uh, a level playing field, black men come out on top. They always have. If you didn't have a whole society with its triple foot on the neck of black men, black men would thrive. If you gave black boys what they need in school, instead of suppressing them, instead of being uh, racist and prejudiced against them, even our own women, black boys thrive. Black boys thrive in the even playing field. You know, they, they've shown it. If you take a black boy in the hood and give him a different mother, he is a, as successful as a white man. Just giving him a different mother raises his IQ points 15 or 20 points. Just g giving him a different mother. That means that your mother, your black mother is suppressing you inside this family. And I've seen it. This is a matriarchy. And the matriarchy produces subjected males. It does. It produces compromised males. That's what it's designed to do. I'm going to talk about that when I talk about the picture with uh, Rihanna ASAP Rocky. That's telling. I know Dr. J is supposed to do it. I've been waiting on him, but if he's not going to get to it, I might as well go ahead and speak on it. A lot of stuff that COVID has sped up and revealed, because now with COVID and social media spreading like this, man, you can't hide this stuff no more. The truth is going to come out. And with Password Bros being a thing and them showing the differences in culture and holding the mirror up to black women, you can't hide this stuff no more. You can't hide anymore because they're coming back with receipts. And as Malcolm X said, what, God, some 50 years ago, 60 years ago now, the chickens are coming home to roost. And sometimes they're not chickens. <laughs> sometimes they're not chickens. Anyhow, that's all I got for this one. This is BGS out now. See you guys on the next one. Peace.